Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 18th of April. India gets up for seven phase general elections. US reacts to Elon Musk's remarks backing permanent UN seat for India. And Pakistan says it blocked social media platform X over national security. And now for all the details. As India starts voting in a seven-phase general election from April 19th, election officials were seen preparing for the polls. Polling teams were dispatched with voting materials, including electronic voting machine, controlling units, and other essential documents required to set up polling booths across electoral constituencies. In the first phase, 102 constituencies within 21 states and union territories will be voting. One day ahead of the poll, we are dispatching the, uh, the polling personnel and the security to the respective polling stations. Now we are getting ready. The EVMs have been already opened, the strong room. So after this, the material and all these machines will be kept in proper places of the respective ARs. Security was heightened and district election officers randomized polling officials to ensure a smooth, safe and fair voting procedure. The election commission has to set up more than 1 million polling stations for the nearly two-month duration with 15 million officials and security personnel fanning out for the task. Uh, all our uh, polling personnel is ready, their randomization has been done, they, they have been allotted to their uh, respective uh, polling station and uh, as per schedule now they are being sent to their polling stations. As a multi-party democracy, India's elections will see a range of national and regional parties competing for votes. But two principal coalitions are directly facing off as contenders to lead the nation. NDA, led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi's BJP party, and a coalition of 26 parties, India Alliance, led by the main opposition, the Indian National Congress. Opinion polls have predicted PM Modi's party will take a third straight victory. Moving on, the United States has reiterated its support for the reforms in the United Nations in reference to India's permanent seat at the UN Security Council. While responding to a question about Tesla CEO Elon Musk's question on India lacking of permanent seat in the world body, Vedant Patel, the US State Department principal deputy spokesperson, said that Washington has offered support for reforms to UN institutions. Ahead of Musk's visit to India, his tweet in January has come to notice where he tweeted about the structure of UNSC and said it does not represent the world's populous nation, India, and called for an overhaul. India has been trying for a long time to get a permanent seat in the Security Council so it can represent the interests of developing countries better. Uh, we certainly support uh, reforms to the UN institution, including the Security Council, to make it reflective of uh, the 21st century world that we live in. Um, I don't have any uh, specifics to offer on what those steps are, but certainly um, we recognize that there is uh, a need for reform. Pakistan's Interior Ministry, in a written submission to Islamabad High Court, confirmed for the first time on Wednesday that it had blocked access to social media platform X around the time of February's election over national security concerns, confirming a long-suspected shutdown. Users in Pakistan have reported problems using X since mid-February, but the government had made no official announcement until now. Among Pakistan's political parties, jailed former PM Imran Khan's party is the most prolific user of social media platforms, particularly after the country's traditional media began censoring news about the party ahead of the polls. Khan says Pakistan's military was behind his ouster as Prime Minister in 2022 and that it helped his opponents form the current government. He remains in jail on a number of convictions, most of which came days before the election. 
many government officials in Pakistan, notably Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif, continue to use X, most likely through VPN software that bypasses the blocks. The Taliban has suspended the activities of two TV stations in Afghanistan, alleging they failed to consider national and Islamic values. Hafizullah Barkazai, an official from the Information Ministry's Media Violations Commission, said a court will investigate files on the two Kabul base stations, Nu TV and Barya TV. The official said, despite repetitive warnings, they did not consider national and Islamic values. Many journalists yes. lost their job after the Taliban takeover in 2021, with media outlets closing over a lack of funds or because their staff left the country. Women journalists face additional hardships because of work bans and travel restrictions. Despite promising a more moderate rule, the Taliban have imposed their interpretation of Islamic law in many aspects of daily life. The IMF stands ready to support Sri Lanka's discussions with international bondholders and will provide a formal assessment after the parties reach a tentative agreement in principle ahead of completing the second review under its bailout program, an IMF spokesperson said on Thursday. Colombo said it failed to reach an agreement with bondholders to restructure about $12 billion debt earlier this week, raising concerns there could be a delay in the island nation receiving the next $337 million installment of its $2.9 billion IMF bailout in June. The government said one of the main stumbling blocks had been the baseline parameters of the bondholders' plan had not matched those embedded in its IMF program. Supported by the bailout, Sri Lanka has seen its once soaring inflation moderate to 0.9% in March. Moving on, Hem Chandra Goswami from India's Assam state has dedicated himself to preserving the ancient art form of mask making. Honored with the Padma Shri Award, he is now focusing on teaching the craft, producing skilled artisans. Hem Chandra Goswami, a resident of Majuli, the world's largest river island in India's Assam state, is renowned for his artistry in traditional mask making. Born in 1958, Goswami inherited the craft from his father and has since dedicated himself to preserving and promoting this ancient Assamese art form. He specializes in making bamboo masks for cultural and religious plays and uses natural colors, cow dung and clay to decorate them. He was honored with the Padm Shri Award in 2023 for his contributions to the field. So Guruji ne pehle Assam mein mark shuru kiya to ye Guruji Assam ka guru Sri Manta Shankar Dev to Shankar Dev ne pehle drama ke liye mark shuru kiya Beyond his own artistry Goswami has tirelessly imparted his knowledge to others providing employment opportunities and attracting both local and foreign students to learn this unique craft अगर ये कला ऐसे रखने से तो नहीं चलेगा अगर इनको कमर्शियल करना ही है कमर्शियल जब करके जहां पे पैसा मिलेगा लोग आके ये सीख रहेगा मतलब पैसा मिलेगा तो इनको खाने पीने के लिए कुछ मिल जाएगा फिर कला बिजी भी रहेगा तो इसीलिए गुरुजी ने ये टाइप बना दिया तो एक तो कमर्शियल मार्क्स जैसे हम लोग बना रहा मामू का जो यहीं पे बैठ रहा स्टूडेंट लोग सब लोग ये कर रहा तो ये जब हो गया ये कमर्शियल होगा लोग को जानकारी ज्यादा मिला that's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.